Indoor mapping within Ritsu's E-Series Spectrum Master, Cell Master, and Site Master allows you to take an image of your indoor facility, import it to the screen of the instrument, and then superimpose RSSI measurements on top of that map. The data can then be moved out as an image or raw data file. To begin coverage mapping, you start with the signal you want to measure. In this demonstration, we're using a power transmitter at 2.44 GHz. We will be mapping Receive Signal Strength Indicator, or RSSI. To begin, first take a map of the facility and convert it with a small PC software package called MapMaster so it can be read by the instrument. To do so, you first run the MapMaster application. Open the image, in this case a JPEG file, and save it onto the USB as an indoor map, no GPS. MapMaster converts the image to an MAP file, which you can then save onto a USB stick. Once on the USB, you can then insert the USB into the instrument's USB port. The instrument has many different mode capabilities, but for coverage mapping, you have to be in the Spectrum Analyzer mode. One way to enter this mode is by also entering the Coverage Mapping mode. To accomplish both, access the main menu and touch the soft key icon, SPA Coverage Mapping. From the Coverage Mapping menu, you can go to the Save, Recall, Points Map menu in order to open the just created MAP file. Once found on the USB and opened, the image from the converted map appears on the instrument screen. Before you begin coverage mapping, you can adjust the parameters to your specification. To do so, enter the Measurement Setup submenu. From there, you can touch the RSSI button and change the threshold values as needed. The threshold values translate to different colored dots. You can decide the values of the four colors that appear on the map. In this case, excellent is any values greater than minus 50. Very good is above minus 60. Good above minus 70. And poor is above minus 80. Anything below that is fail. In this demonstration, excellent will be green, very good will be light green, good orange, poor yellow, and a failure will be red. At the very bottom of all the mapping displays is indication of the current level that you're measuring, rather than a spectrum analyzer display. You can also change the way the instrument collects data by going to the point distance time setup. If you set the collection setting to time, the instrument will interpolate data points between the starting and ending position in a straight line. If the distance option is set, you receive a data point whenever you note the position, indicated by either touching the screen or by using the keypad. With setup finished, you can now start coverage mapping. Move to the needed location of the building and set your position in reference with the on-screen map. To begin mapping, press Start Data Collection. Remember, the way the instrument records the points depends on the choice of measurement, time or distance. The two ways you can begin mapping indoors changes the way you must coverage map. When using the distance method, you can pinpoint the signal strength in exact locations. You can enter a key area, plot a point, and move on. This way, important areas can be specifically chosen to be mapped. With the time setting selected, the instrument records the data as time passes. Because of the interpolated points, many different points can be created over an area. Not only can you focus on key areas, but also a broader range of the signal strength can be mapped. For both methods, after you have completed your mapping, press Stop Data Collection. Once finished with mapping, you can now export the results. You can save it as a KML file, so the instrument can recall the points again, a JPEG for easy viewing, or a tab delimited file, .mtd. Today, the way to save as both a JPEG and a tab delimited file will be demonstrated. You first have to access the Save Recall Points Map submenu. From there, select Save JPEG or Save Tab Delimited Points. The pop-up prompt allows you to change the file name and file type before getting saved. You can then press Enter to save it to the instrument's internal memory. Now copy this to the USB drive and from there, a computer. The JPEG can be opened and the map with the points can now be viewed for easy analysis. You can also open the tab delimited file with Excel or another software program to be more accurately analyzed. That concludes our demonstration. 
For more information about indoor mapping with Enritsu Spectrum Master and Psych Master instruments, please see the Enritsu website and the indoor mapping application note.